everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Uh, like to say happy holidays to everybody. We're here for a countdown today. We're gonna take a look at the top sneakers to retro in 2022, guys. There was quite a few sneakers to retro in 2022 and today we're gonna take a look at the best of those sneakers that are in my collection. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you. I need you to hit that like button. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I load a video right here on YouTube. And do comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. And if you haven't already, sub up to the channel. Oh uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, the first thing we're gonna take a look at it was a collab with two with two brands. Uh, one of them was a part of my life since my childhood. I would do anything to get that. I would if I got good grades in school, I had to have one, and I was always interested in collecting the whole set of whatever they had to offer. And they uh did a collab with a, a popular brand. They recently had a sneaker to release and the sneaker was kind of fuzzy. But when the release came out, they had grown men doing kid things. Grown men was running all around town to get one of these right here. A daggone Happy Meal. This is the Cactus Plant Flea Market Adult Happy Meal from McDonald's. And you had all of the items to collect. Everyone was trying to get Grimace. <laughs> yes. Miss Birdie. Hamburglar, he was a real tough one to get. And the Cactus Plant Flea Market guy. Yes, we got the whole set. These made a return appearance to us in 2022. Adults, grown, grown people getting happy meals. Get to either get the 10 piece nuggets or the Big Mac. The Cactus Plant Flea Market Adult Happy Meal coming in at number 10 on the items to retro in 2022. The number nine item to retro in 2022, uh, it released, I want to say 06, don't uh, kill me if the year is incorrect, but it released a while ago and it retro this year in 2022. I'm talking about none other than the Air Jordan Retro 7 Citrus in a citrus colorway. Yep, this is a retro, guys, and the dislike for 7s, I mean, not sure what it is, but this is a clean sneaker. I won this on the Flex, on the FLX uh, app, actually. And I drove down there and picked them up. Got my side 14 things. Air Jordan Retro 7 Citrus, number nine to retro in 2022. The number eight sneaker to retro in 2022. Uh, it came out a long time ago. Uh, I didn't get it originally, but uh, when it retroed in 2022, I was able to get them. They had a day dedicated to this. I'm talking about none other than the Turtle Dove, the 350 V1 Turtle Dove things. Yep, these came back. Not sure if Kanye agreed with Adidas when they did retro these, but I'm just happy that your boy finally got a pair. I want the Pirate Black V1, but if I don't get them, it's not a big deal. I would love to get those, but this is the number eight item the retro in 2022. The number seven item the retro in 2022 to me is the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. Yep, you can see that. I was happy these retro was able to get these, and I believe these are actually sitting in a few sizes in your local stores or your local malls. A lot of people don't get with the uh, OG stuff, but I mean, these are uh, pretty good sneakers, though. Very good. If you are interested in getting these, I do recommend and strongly recommend to size up in these. These do run small. I had to get them size feeding things. So the number seven item is the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. 
The number six item to retro is uh, a sneaker by a, a, a former NBA player. I was a big fan of his, still a big fan of his. And when I saw this sneaker retro, and they sat around, and you know it's a blessing when sneakers sit around in my size. I'm talking about the Reebok Allen Iverson Blue Toe, guys. Yes, these came back in 2022 as well. Last year we had the red too, and I did cop those as well. I mean, maybe a nostalgia pickup, but I was a big Iverson fan. When he got drafted in 97, 96, I was actually uh, living in the Virginia area. Well, actually living in Virginia and uh, Hopewell, Petersburg area. And I had these, man, I had the little replica Iverson jersey. It was on the crack and you couldn't tell your boy nothing. But uh, this is the number six sneaker to retro in 2022. The number five sneaker that retro in 2022, uh, we got it in a a slight color variation. It's a nice silhouette, comfortable. We're gonna bring it out, the Air Max One Crep Hemp. Yes, we did get these back. The brown is a little darker, that's around the mud guard, but however, we did get these back in 2022. If you gotta be an Air Max head or an OG sneaker wearer to appreciate these, you won't see a lot of people rocking these, but uh, this is a clean sneaker, guys. Nice materials, you got that burlap on your uh, toe box, but uh, here it is, guys. The Air Max one, crap hemp. The number four sneaker to retro in 2022. It, uh, it came out recently, about three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, you can still see them sitting in the stores. We talking about the Air Jordan Retro 7 in the color a red colorway, and it is very close to the OG farm. Uh, I did do a video, and I showed you a picture that uh, the Home and Physical Nightmare posted compared to the 1992 version, and these are very, very close to the OGs that came out in 92, but uh, this is a nice sneaker, very nice. You got that pebble, tumble leather going on here. Man, got it in the collection, guys. Air Jordan 7, call the raid. The number four sneaker to retro in 2022. The number three sneaker to retro in 2022. Uh, I was so happy uh, retro. I did have the original release back in 20. 16 I believe it came out in a pack of three, but I do remember this detail it released on Black Friday And I was I won all three pairs of the pack Well, Not sure they were a pack, but they all released on the same day and I won all three pairs beside 14 things at champ sports and I recently posted a picture on that for flashback Friday uh, I'm talking about the Yeezy 350 boots in the solar red colorway yes I had to have these back I had them I couldn't fit them I didn't know that they ran small I had the size 14 things that time but I got the size 15 D large now yes happy to have these in the collection nice little slip on it's still dead stock but I had to have them the number three sneaker that retro in 2022, the Adidas Yeezy 350 in the solar red colorway. The number two sneaker to retro, it's a, a basketball sneaker, <laughs> but a lot of people wanted it, especially the men, because the grade school sizes sat on shelves for a long time, and they probably are still sitting on shelves, but the men pair, they were very hard to get. I'm talking about none other than the Nike Air Max Penny One Orlando colorway. Man, men was going crazy. Everybody, well, not everybody, a lot of men was trying to get these. Cause y'all remember when Penny came through, baby, straight out of Memphis, Tennessee. Man, he was doing this thing. But uh, yes, these Air Max One pennies in the Orlando colorway was was real. Uh, I was really excited to see these retro as I saw that big. Raw your blue swoosh at the bottom. Man, it was, man, you had these, really, man. 
nice sneaker to add to the collection, but this is the number two sneaker to retro in 2022. The number one sneaker to retro in 2022, uh, it's my favorite silhouette, and you saw it a couple nights ago on my countdown. I think it was between number six through 10 of my top pickups of 2022, so you can go check that out after you finish watching this video, but uh, we hadn't seen it close to this form or in this form since 1988, since its original release. We've had several variations of it with uh, just different, subtle differences on it and color variations. Well, I'm talking about none other than the Air Jaw Retro 3 in the fire red colorway with the Nike Air on the back. Yes, this was the best sneaker to retro in 2022. In my opinion, nice soft leather. Look how soft and pebble and tumble the leather is going all around the ankle. Yes, it was on point when they brought these back and it's very close to the OG form. You cannot see the back of the tongue if you're looking at it from the front of the sneaker. So this is it guys. Number one sneaker to retro in 2022, the Air Jordan Retro 3, fire red. Don't forget the Nike Air on the back. That concludes the countdown today, guys. So let me know your thoughts on the sneakers that we we're able to look at and the Happy Meal as well. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video off. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.